This video is an overview of our DFE browser-based client. This is a browser-based client, like I said. It differs from the traditional desktop clients we'd used in the past. In this video, we'll be discussing various elements of this client, and in certain instances, we'll be going in deeper into subsequent videos. So a little overall look at this uh, client, you'll see that we have uh, a place down here for your jobs that are in the print queue. We've got a job a place here for recent jobs that we've run. And if the job has been archived and deleted, it'll show up in the archive. So we can bring in past jobs and have them reprinted precisely the way they were printed the last time. In the upper left here, we have job details and the, and the last job that was run. We have information from the printer. In this case, it's a box 6. We have ink levels and the status and everything like that. So to get a job into the system, we will simply select the plus sign right here and will allow us to navigate to our files. I will bring in, we'll select this job here and we'll hit open. And once the, the, the window opens up, we'll be able to make some settings changes based on what we're looking for as far as a job. Here's the thumbnail of the job. In this quick edit window, I can rotate or nudge. I can rotate jobs here. I can nudge them in all four directions based on where I want it to print on the media. I can tell I want it to print all or give it a test page. Uh, the test page will print up the first page of the document so I can check positioning and color. Or I can select a range of jobs here. I could ask what, tell what kind of quality I wanted uh, in this drop down here, whether I wanted the job collated or not, and whether I wanted the job to archive or not. Now in the full job editor, I can change things like the size of the media that I'm going to print on. I could change a layout that I wanted to have a layout change. If I was printing uh, labels or wanted to step and repeat the art on, a, on the media, I could change the paper profile here based on the paper that I'm printing on. I could change the color with these sliders here by adding or subtracting color based on my needs in all four colors or overall. Or I can actually uh, do a spot color adjustment. I could do the all black in 100% black ink and the 100% black. And then I could just print the job. So when I print the job, I get a status here of what's running. And you can see up here also I'm getting information feedback from the printer itself, letting me know what's going on there. Once a job is run, you see that it disappears when it's finished, and it shows up over in the recent jobs folder. Okay. Other things I can do is I have actually got a on-screen keyboard for our touchscreen monitors. I also have some settings. I can look at the information directly from the printer, the toolbox in this case. I could go to configuration editor. I can do a calibration, which we'll go over. Okay, and that is the overview of the DFE client.